Quiet on set. Picture is up. All right, roll sound. Rolling. Roll cameras. Cams rolling. And three, two. Hey, everybody, what's going on? And welcome to Hank's Thank Tank. Well, today's the final day. I'm finally interviewing the last um, contestant <laughs> for the M set election. I have with me today David Miller. Good afternoon, David. How's it going? Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Allow uh, my pleasure to be here. Good, good. Good to have you aboard. Um, you know, this election's been kind of quiet, which I guess is a good thing. And uh, you're the only one that's outside of an incumbent that's actually running. Yes, sir. So that's good. I think that that makes for a healthy political environment. It's a good thing. So what I'd like to do to start out with is talk a little bit about your qualifications. I know that you've been a law enforcement officer for quite some time. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yes, sir. Uh, moved to the community when I was about 9 or 10 years old. Been here most all my life. Okay. Uh, married my wife that's from the community, raised all my children. Over in the New Caney ISD, got uh, eight grandchildren currently in New Caney ISD. Uh, during my uh, started the sheriff's office in 1990, full time in '91, coming up on 34 years of service. I've met businesses from one end of the spectrum to the other. I've worked all over the county, but my home is East Montgomery County. Okay, and uh, very strong servant mind. I, I believe in the community. Uh, I believe in community oriented. Uh, policing with the people. Our current sheriff has promoted that. Rand Henderson commuted, uh, communicated uh, the community-oriented policing for a long time. He's he's put us out in zones. He's trying to increase the business contacts, the people contacts, uh, so we can better serve the community. I'm not trying to get in a political sheriff's race, but I got you. Uh, I've worked for the man uh, for a long, long time, and uh, we've I've seen the involvement from the beginning of Joe Corley. The guy Williams, uh, to you know Tommy Gage, and mm -hmm. and now where we're at today. So I think we progressed uh, a great deal. Uh, the other candidate's a really good man, also. Mm -hmm. not, not here to promote that, but but back to to our, our election is 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 to be able to go out there and have that servant mind and 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 serve these businesses. They call me uh, a lot of times. They can't get a hold of a deputy or can't get a hold of a dispatch or whatever. I do my best to serve them, uh, no matter what profession you're in and and we try to serve everybody uh equally and right uh, I, I live and breathe it i live and breathe east montgomery county and uh i'm solid as a rock for that i got you so do you mainly patrol east montgomery county or just where yes, they sir. send you well i am a patrol sergeant okay uh I'm kind of multitask uh go good if i had to go to magnolia i could go to magnolia i've been to Willis and I've been to everywhere in the county I could go if there's a scene that that, that needs a supervisor yeah. predominantly here in East Montgomery County and I think they have my role uh, predominantly as a community servant and and to service my lieutenant and and do whatever their needs are over here whatever the sheriff's needs is over here and uh, the captain calls upon me for special projects and and we make it happen and, and do our best that we can there you go so you've been all over Montgomery County, and so you know the different parts of the county and how they're different from each other and how East County is different. I do. Different I do. From I've even worked in the uh, Woodlands Township back in the beginning of my career and worked out in the Magnolia area when it, it wasn't much more than you know, what East Montgomery County was at the beginning, and look how it's swollen and what it is. I uh, worked around the lake and watched what it's produced. <laughs> uh, Willis, and here I am in East Montgomery County where we're – we're just overflowing with uh, people oh, yeah. wanting to come here. It's an explosion. And, uh, it is an explosion yeah. of, of, of the industry, what we have. And, and no matter what we do, people are coming, and we have to get ready for it. There you go. You know, I, I was at a function um, that Matt Gray held about a week ago, and one of the stats he gave, and I was like, wow, you got to be kidding, was that energy has had more new connections, new electrical connections, than I think three or four of the states around us combined. And and, and just energy, Montgomery County. I have friends on energy, and you should see the prospects of, of what they see as coming, uh, Highlands and Splendora, and it's just uh, over blossoming with the thousands of new connections they have coming. Uh, they have to contract out some. They're doing the best they can just to keep up with what we have. That's crazy. Yes, sir. Yeah. So you've decided to run for him, said this isn't your first show at that. I know you've ran before. Yes, sir. Um, yes, so you've got to be pretty passionate about 
about what you're wanting to do there. I'm extremely passionate for, for, for the servant mine and serving the community. I currently serve on the Porter Fire Department. Uh, I'm just trying to expand that horizon, be the voice for the community. Uh, anybody that knows me, uh, anybody that, that they can attest for what my product is and what I can do for the community. Cool. How long have you been on the ESD board? Uh, I think for right around 10 years I've been on the ESD board. And, oh, wow. That's a good and, long time. Uh, we have come a long ways. Uh, we discuss in our meetings where we're coming from. Uh, they're doing strategic plans for our future. We're growing. Mm -hmm. We're trying to keep up with the growth and the infrastructure of East Montgomery County. Uh, of course, finances and stuff creates problems with that, but we have an excellent administration staff over there with Chief Johnson. And it's the same with New Caney, too, but uh, Chief Ryan Walt, and, and we do it just – the best we can with the dollars we have. And I don't think people really know the challenges that you have with, uh, you know, keeping the government running. Oh yeah. Tough uh, job. It's, it's, it's yeah. tough and you have to make tough decisions. Yeah. So on the ESD, is there anything that you've championed that, that you can look back on and say, okay, well that was my idea and we put that together and implemented it and it came out really good. I won't tell you anything on the ESD board <clears throat> was wholly my idea. Okay. Uh, I do have very, very strong beliefs, and they know what my beliefs are. Uh, we've had an extreme board changeover in the last year. Mm -hmm. uh, we've become much younger, uh, much more energetic than I think we had been, but I had some very fine people. John Kelly of 50-plus years. Yeah. Uh, Thurland Cook of 50-plus years. They retired on me. And Larry Trout uh, definitely stepped down, but – his heart and soul was with our fire department, with our community. Yeah. I still have myself and Donnie Click is the uh, long-term servers on there. Uh, when I started, we were a bit in debt. I'm not I'm not blaming on anyone. We was a bit in debt. Mm -hmm. Interest rates being well, collected happens, yeah. was, was relatively low. And we collected more than what we're paying in loans. And I can say currently to this date <clears throat> that we are debt-free at the Porter Fire Department. And uh, communicating with our attorneys and our bookkeepers and such as that, I don't know if any other ESDs can say that. Maybe there's some out there, but we're currently debt-free. Uh, legislators have some restraint on us. I won't really get into that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're getting ready to build a new fire station out in Kings Manor. Uh, they're okay. very expensive. Where's Kings Manor? Uh, Kings Manor is uh, just uh, south of North Park Okay. Uh, on Rural Crossing. It's a little uh, piece of land right there we're fixing to put a fire station on so okay. we can better uh, serve the people and lower our response times. Once again, they have all these drawings and diagrams and circumferences, and uh, they have that down to art of a science nowadays. Oh, yeah. And uh, we look into the future and try to see what the public needs. But, you know, Porter Fire Department has grown so much in their in – their, we, we do first responder medical calls, uh, the hazmat, uh, rescue. Uh, oh, yeah. Multi-story stuff They go now. out in the floodwaters. We have high water yeah. trucks. And I'll tell you what, we're, we're prepared for that hurricane – the best we can. We're prepared to, uh, you know, recently we had a, fe a fella, I think, fell into a, a mud mud plant or something, and they went out there with our equipment, mm -hmm. and uh, we took care of that. So I say we, the, the, the firefighters, they sure. do a magnificent yeah. job, and uh, i got to pride myself on those. We have, we have elected officials. They're just doing a fantastic job. Uh, you know, before we had Commissioner Metz, I, I must I, I supported Commissioner Metz, mm -hmm. and now we have some Commissioner Matt Gray, and he's doing an outstanding job, and I support the man 100. percent But we got you know the Justice of the Peace done, and Constable Hayden, and they do just do a magnificent job. And I don't say that just to say it. I work side by side with these men, and I witness what they do, and and they are community servants. Yeah, they are all good people. I'm proud yes, of them. Sir. So I don't, I don't know where we'd be without them, to be honest with you. But yes, sir. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Okay, so also I know that you're involved a lot with Mission Northeast, and you do the Sharing is Caring program, which is a big deal. And I don't know how much y'all collect, but maybe you can give us some stats on that kind of stuff. We've talked about that before. You know, that's not about a David Miller thing. That's about the first responders of East Montgomery County. Mm -hmm. But, you know, over the years, I guess uh, we just did our seventh year we're probably, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, so we just surpassed yeah. seven years. I know the sheriff's office wants to continue doing that. I'm mm -hmm. not sure where I'm at at the by the end of the year. Once again, I got 33 years of service full time. Uh, I'm not sure what my future holds. That's the reason, one of the reasons I want to run for Emstead yeah. is to keep my servant mind going. Okay. But uh, that was a boots on the ground project, once again, promoted by the community oriented policing program mm -hmm. where my shift decided to do that. We started off with Porter Fire Department and the Montgomery County Hospital District, and we expanded to include every 
first responding agency there is over here. And then we expanded to include Jeep groups, Boy Scout groups, Girl Scout groups. It's uh, a big deal. Taylor organization. Yeah. Uh, and I know I'm missing some, but there is just so many people. And when I have people that are giving their pennies – and they're folded up dollar bills, and they're and some people give hundreds, and some people give twenties. Yeah. But I think this last year we we I think we did about right at twenty seven thousand dollars. And at the yeah, end of that great. drive, we we go over to Wood Forest uh, Bank, and they do a cashier's check goes directly to the mission. There's no overhead. Mm-hmm. I probably had thirty five forty vendors to donate food for those volunteers that worked that day. Okay. And once again, it's a lot of community members, the alumni, mm-hmm. uh, Sheriff's Office alumni, Constable's alumni. There's so many people that I know I'm going to miss right now, but to each and every one of them, God bless you. Thank you right, for the people that you've helped. And I've heard the success stories of what Mission Northeast does. And there's other food banks out there, and I'm sure they're doing a great job. Just had to pick one out, but Miss Dixon over there does a wonderful job. Yeah, she's great. She's a pistol. And, uh, we we <laughs> have, uh, you know, the community. The community has excelled on that project. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. you know, it's too bad that we need a Mission Northeast. But, man, pick a better place. In today's yeah. time, with the economy and such as it is, I see many a person that have told me that are even working, that they can't just make it on that weekly paycheck. Yeah. They've got to go get some help for food. And if it's food yeah. and – and that type of product that we can provide, mm-hmm. any community service we have need to step up to the plate and give that. If yeah. I can, if, if I can assist with that, I'll do my best. And uh, you know, Emstead, the very organization, they 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 input a lot to Mission Northeast too. Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree with that. Fantastic. Yes, sir. Okay. So, if you get elected, are there any things that you'd like to see implemented that you'd like to? Say, you know, okay, I have well, visions is, and I have an goals. Of mine. You know, the yeah. visions are are extraordinary. Okay. You know, the visions are, are are far above the whelm, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then there's goals. Uh, we talk about transparency. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I, I just think we could be more transparent. My visions are uh, the student loans that we give. I wish we could increase that. Uh, I know that they've already done some to try to help them get their furtherance of college degrees. Mm-hmm. Uh, they send them to welding schools, uh, yeah, trade schools, barber schools, great. such as that. Yeah. I would like to for us to work closer with our school districts, get back to these trade schools, get back to the welding, get back to the hands-on, mm-hmm. whether it be sales, culinary. You know, they already do culinary, but put more into it. And I'd really somehow like to coordinate where we could get co-op programs with the money we spend, I think right now on their budget, and I don't know what they actually spend, but on their budget is about eight hundred thousand dollars on their scholarships. Mm-hmm. Well, we have better than a twenty-four million dollar budget on the books. Okay. I don't know if we spent twenty-four million dollars. Somebody said eighteen million, but on the books is twenty-four million, uh, and some you know like twenty-four million twenty-three dollars. I think uh, income is twenty-four thousand or twenty-four million. 273,000, something of that nature, but not to get into numbers. Yeah. I think we could divest more to our, to our students, to our youth and, uh, start investing in, I don't know if you've been to any of our sports events, children, parents, families, it's family time. Right. I wish we could have more green space. Uh, there's so many visions that I like to have. When I ran last time, I talk about parks mm-hmm. and they're, they're, they're working on a dog park on 1485. That was in 2022. Mm-hmm if I'm not mistaken. And the last yeah. I checked, they're working on an architect for this dog park. Mm-hmm. And I'm not certain. I'm not a rocket scientist, but I just think that, you know, simplicity with our community, we have enough people, we could envelop a dog park. We don't have to have Taj Mahal's always. Right. And uh, we, we just need to increase our visibility of what the people at East Montgomery County want or what they deserve and what $24 million can can give us. Because if you look at the budget of the breakdown, there's not a lot of that going by, like, Woodlands Township. I think 70% of it is going back to the community for infrastructure, and we are nowhere as close to that. I just think we can make improvements. Yeah, uh, I'm just wanting to just do my part as a servant mine and be a voice for the people, okay. for, for you, for your neighbor, for everybody that lives in the 158 square miles of New Caney and Splendor ISD, 
We have super fine superintendents there. We could be doing our school drive, uh, school supply drives at the schools. Make sure those supplies get into the right hands. Right. And there's so many things that we could isolate and make sure they get to the people, the very people that our sales tax is there for. Uh, so many people go off on Emstead and say, well, my taxes are high enough. But they need to understand that it's just sales tax. Right. And but just one and a half thereof, cents, yeah. but it's one and a half cents, but envelop into what the total, I mean, it winds up being over 24 million, but I think the sales tax loans over 20 million. Uh, we're growing these businesses. We, we had to do something about our mom and pop businesses. We've seen some really good businesses go out of business. Ray to Spain has been around here for yeah. years. I'm not telling you Emstead could save that. I'd like to know what we could have done, if nothing else, to get another one because there's just not any small engine. you got to go to the big box stores. Right. Yeah, I and, recently had to buy bearings for my zero-turn mower. I had to know. buy them online. I got the wrong ones to start yeah. out with. And I but, used to uh, buy them at you know, the La is for sale now. I mean, that yeah. was the family-owned, and then Chris McGinnis has got it, and he's struggling. I know we tried to help. I'm not saying we can save them all, mm -hmm. but our mom-and-pop businesses are disappearing yeah. right before our eyes. And I'm not saying we can save them, but – La Casita's been here a long time. Well, long the, time. the family has, and yeah. it's sold, but it's 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 just it's hard on the people that's been here a long time to see these changes, and you know changes are coming. And, yeah. and I said big box stores, but the big box stores have been great to me when I do like the sharing is carrying food right there, right there at my doorstep. They're helping oh, yeah. me out. I go talk to them, and I haven't had not a single, not a single vendor that has declined me help. When I go explain to them what we're doing. That's great. Yes, sir. Well, we live in a good community, though. We live you know, in an I've, outstanding community. Yeah, I've been saying that for years. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's just our infrastructure just falling a little short, sitting in traffic a little longer. Oh, yeah. And uh, I wish, I wish, you know, one of the things I pride myself on is law enforcement. Mm -hmm. And I told you Rowdy Hayden is doing an outstanding job. Yeah. And Ibsted supports Constable Hayden. Mm -hmm. uh, they do... Uh, additional services out in the industrial park. Uh, somebody need to get the exact figures, but it's a significant sum. Mm -hmm. And they fund it through the mud district because they created the mud district. Okay. And Porter's Mill is the sole uh, recipient of that out there. We have many mud districts within East Montgomery County. I wish we could expand that. I worked off duty jobs in some of them, but if we can expand that and give better law enforcement services, I'm all for it. And they do the holiday shopper program. You remember the last time I called it Ho Ho Patrol, which that's <laughs> been referred to as a as a law enforcement slang, but it's called yeah. the Holiday Patrol. Okay. And they budgeted eighty five thousand dollars for that. Yeah. And I have told Constable Hayden and Chief Welch, I would like to see that done twelve months out of the year. Yeah. People deserve that because sometimes our response times suffer because of our tax base. We just don't have the law enforcement. Is any entity today, we just don't have the law enforcement needed to respond sometimes like we need to. Right. And that's not the sheriff's fault. It's not the commissioner's fault. I mean, we can't raise taxes. Everybody's complaining about their taxes. Yeah, it's it's just a lot of area but to But we have sales tax. And they say in the bylaws they cannot supplant or supplement mm -hmm. the government income. As you know, they just gave 200 and. Fifty thousand dollars, I think, to the commissioner for the the water pump for the splash pad. Yeah. and I will sit here, one hundred percent, awesome, yeah, excellent idea. Yeah. I don't have any problem with that. I don't have any problem with the with the grants that we give. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. It's a small percentage of the twenty four million dollars, mm -hmm. but we need to support our law enforcement. We need to support our fire department. Our contract is probably less than 10 years from expiring. Mm -hmm. We need to work on expanding that contract. We need to include New Caney, East Montgomery County fire in that contract. We need to support our fire and support the services for our communities to keep us a safer community as we grow. Yeah, I agree with you. Yes, sir. Well, I know you've got a great reputation in the community. You've done a lot of good stuff, and you've been here forever. So I think that you're you know good material for a candidate for MSET. I'm just so, trying to be the voice. You know, I'm running against a fine lady on this position for mm -hmm. her. And, and to be quite honest, I mean, she's, she's college educated. She's, she's extremely smart, extremely bright, and she's a fine lady. And, 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 and it's no disrespect to her or any of these people on this board. I want to work with them. I want to work with them, but I want a voice. I want a voice to be heard. 
and I want exposure to the great things that we can do for our community, and I want it to be seen. Yeah. I want I want visible changes. My goal is to see visible changes that everybody can say, look what Emstead did. Now, I know we work really hard on the industrial park, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to downgrade the industrial park, but we need these supports in different places when you balance the budget. I know that's a pride and joy, and I'm not talking bad about the industrial park. I get off of that. But, you know, liaisonship is, is a great, uh, thing to me mm-hmm. it's very important to me to work side by side with with constable hayden's office and the constable's office and these small entities like wood branch and splendor which mm-hmm. splendor is doing a wonderful job of what they've got going on and all these small entities and splendor isd they just got recently got a new police chief and then uh, chief wooten over there and captain potter mm-hmm. over at new Kenny isd to work with these entities and do the common goals for everybody because we're not we're working as a team and I want to do the same with the board, and I want to do the same with the commissioner's office, and just betterment what our needs are for the community. And I'm solid as a rock, and you can ask most anybody about me, and, and you know I entertain any questions that they got. Okay, great. Well, I'm the average voter guy. I don't know a whole lot about David Miller, but I want to find out more. Do you have a website, or you have a Facebook page? You got anything like that? Well, we do have a David Miller for uh, the the candidacy for the Emstead. Okay. Uh, I haven't been pushing it real hard. There's different reasons for that. Okay. Uh, I don't have a signage out there. There's different reasons for that. Okay. I'm not going to get into all that. It's going to be a very small turnout. If anything I can do about Hank's Think Tank today is tell people to research Emstead. Find out what Emstead is. When somebody asks you what it is, they send out tons and tons of mailers. Mm-hmm. Research it. See who's supporting who. See what was paid for by whom. And just do the right thing and do your 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 due diligence okay. to make intelligent decisions and analyze what you see. And and you know, we have enough problems in our nation. I mean, we look at our nation and we can go all the way down and take it down to the local level and analyze it. And do your dil- diligence and go out there and just vote. Yep. Get if it's not for me, then go vote for who you believe in. But research us. Put it on the web. It's out there. The social media is out there. You got some fine people on the board. I'm just trying to be one of them. There you go. Yes, All right, sir. David. Well, I appreciate you coming in. Well, God this bless a, you and God bless our community. Yeah. This is a good talk and and uh when's when's election day? Election is on May the fourth. I think it's Man, God, I think tomorrow. of uh, Stephen Carlisle because yeah. he's the Star Wars fan. And May May the fourth be with you. <laughs> there, you go. So there you go. All right. Uh, early voting continues tomorrow. I believe it's eight to five. Don't quote me on that. And then okay. uh, Monday and Tuesday, seven to seven, and then we'll be seven to seven on May the fourth. And I encourage you to go see uh, these election officials. They're out there busting the rump for us oh yeah and uh, they do an excellent job as a community as a servant mind once again you know these are these are not difficult things to do uh port of fire department is unpaid mm-hmm. and uh, these emsteads are paid or unpaid and uh I, I just need to get on the inside of emstead and see what i can do for you okay and i'm looking forward to doing that for you i'm looking forward to serving this community there you go thank you for your time no problem all right, guys. Well, there you have it, David Miller, and he is running for a position on the MSED board, and our early voting continues, so get out there and vote. You know, be a good citizen. Take your time, and it's like David said, do some research, find out about your candidates, make decisions based upon what you believe in, get out there and vote, be a part of this great community that's called East Montgomery County. I'm Hank Batt. This is Hank's Think Tank, and we're going to the next one.